Everything went right until I saw Marilla coming with the plum pudding in one hand and the pitcher of pudding sauce warmed up in the other. Diana, that was a terrible moment. I remembered everything and I just stood up in my place and shrieked out. Marilla, you mustn't use that pudding sauce. There was a mouse drowned in it. I forgot to tell you before. Oh, Diana, I shall never forget that awful moment if I live to be a hundred. Mrs. Chester Ross just looked at me, and I thought I would sink through the floor with mortification. She's such a perfect housekeeper, and fancy what she must have thought of us. Marilla turned red as fire, but she never said a word. Then, she just carried that sauce and pudding out and brought in some strawberry preserves. She even offered me some, but I couldn't swallow a mouthful. It was like heaping coals of fire on my head. After Mrs. Chester Ross went away, Marilla gave me a dreadful scolding. Why, Diana, what is the matter? Diana had stood up very unsteadily.